This program was brought to you by Organo Gold. Organo Gold is a health and wellness company that provides healthy coffees, teas, and chocolate. All one has to do is consume the available products to get all the available benefits. One can also share these products with others to help them improve their health as well. For more information, call 703-359-5642 or visit the website basillamba.com. And now, Fairfax Breakfast Club with your host, Basile Lemba. Welcome to the Fairfax Breakfast Club show. My name is Basile Lemba and I will be your host. The Fairfax Breakfast Club is a weekly program in which we bring to you valuable and workable know-how you can use to improve your networking skills and grow your business. We always start the show with a quote, and today's quote is, Improving the health and well-being of your employees makes good business sense. As a leading provider of workplace, of workplace health services, we see every day the difference it can make to a company's bottom line and the impact it can have on employee morale and motivation. It offers a win-win all around. Employees benefit better, benefit from better support for their health. Companies benefit from less absence and improved productivity. And society benefits from improved public health. And this is from Steve Flanagan, commercial director at Bupa. With us today in the studio, we have someone who started a company to help businesses do just that. Her company is Fit Active Tone. Her, her name is Ruvi. Hello, Ruvi. Hello, Basil. How are you? Good, how are you? Very good. Let me ask you this. How do you like the quote that I just gave? It's great, yeah. It's, like uh, it? it really sums it up very nicely. Okay, excellent. Yes. So tell us, how do you get to get into fitness yourself? Well, I've always been very active growing up. Um, at the high school I went to, it was mandatory to do at least three afternoon activities, really? uh, Monday through Friday. And so um, it's something that I have grew up with, mm -hmm. and I maintained it sort of in, in college. And then okay. it's just something that's now a part of me. OK. Yeah. And yeah, doing it, doing it, and then you get, you get into the business. Yes. What was the, the bridge? What was the, the period where you decided, you know what, I'm going to make a business out of this? Well, I was a client at uh, a training program, mm. and um, the instructor kept, you know, asking me, don't you want to be a trainer one day? And I kept saying to him, no, I prefer being in the crowd. I never envisioned myself as being the person leading a group. Uh -huh. um, he finally convinced me, and I became an instructor. and. Okay. Just uh, the feeling I got from it, just knowing that people were actually, that I was actually helping people mm -hmm. and they were turning to me for their, you know, for their health and fitness. And um, just, I, I think one person came to me um, and just told me how grateful they were mm -hmm. for what I had done for them. And I thought, oh, wow, I'm just in front of the class. So I didn't realize I could have such a big impact on someone's life. Very good. Yeah. So what is your program then that you offer? Well, I offer one-on-one -on -one training, um, small group training, and it's in-home, trying to make it very convenient for people to work out, because I know uh, people, especially in this area, uh -huh. are very busy, uh -huh. and by the time you get home, you know, sometimes the last thing you want to do is go to the gym, so uh -huh. I make it convenient and I come to you. Um, and I also do corporate fitness programs as well. Um, again, to sum up the quote that you had said, um, you know, because we're sitting for about you know eight hours a day yeah. and so just to have that break in between the day and again making it convenient for people um, so that um, if I'm there there's no excuse okay. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> sure. I got you. okay now let me ask you this okay you go to somebody house what do you take with you what do they do 
Do you bring some equipment? Do you, how does that work? Sure, I have um, some dumbbells, I have jump ropes, I have a few mats. Um, my concept is that, you know, it's very convenient and it's very simple because mm -hmm. you don't need, you don't always need expensive equipment. Um, sometimes, oftentimes, a lot of my clients travel for business and so I like to showcase workouts that you can easily do in your hotel room. Oh. So, you know, body weight workouts. Um, sometimes, you know, I, I like to um, change it up a bit and we'll grab a chair or um, work, in, work out in their office space just to showcase that, you know, even if I'm not there, this is a type of workout that you can do just using your surroundings, mm -hmm. you know. Very good. <laughs> and how about in the business? How does that work? When you go to a business, I guess the same thing, you bring the same equipment? It's pretty much the same thing, and it's um, any available open space, usually like a conference room, mm -hmm. and um, a lot of body weight exercises and workouts as well, uh, some jump ropes, some strength training as well. Oftentimes, people will bring their own dumbbells because everyone's at their um, different levels. Okay. Yeah. Now, at what time does that happen in an office? Lunchtime, morning, evening? When does that get done? The popular times are usually lunchtime. Oh, really? Or uh, yeah, because it's a you know it's a, like a midday break, um, ah, and then uh, so that that's a nice time. Or after about five o'clock, five thirty, five forty-five, so that straight from work they get it, they work out in, and then they don't have to sit in traffic for two or three hours or so, mm -hmm. and they can go straight home and 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 you know get on with their evening okay so you exercise and your program is not very vigorous i'm imagining because if i gotta go a long time and then sweat like mad getting back to the office might be a little bit not bad but uh, well, it's, it's really customized according to sort of the clients that I have. And ideally, and actually most companies now have gyms in the office space mm -hmm. um, and with showers. And I think oh. more um, corporations are moving towards that because people are starting to realize that health and wellness is really important, you know, for your workforce. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of the places that I, you know, a lot of my clients, they're in an Don't area, luckily, gym. where there's a gym and a shower. Okay. And, yeah. That was my concern because when I'm doing exercise, whatever, so if all of us were bound to kind of like sweat, I was just, just saying that if, I, if it's in the suit and it's tight, next thing you know, got to go back to the office, probably going to say, see, that's Ruby, she woke me over, and it's all <laughs> wet and everything else. I don't know that that would be definitely it would be appropriate. Well, and if that's a concern, you know, if um, something like that's a concern, then an after-work program would be ideal. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That, that's fabulous. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's, that, that's what I ask you. At what time? That's yeah, my question. Yeah. When does it get done? Is it morning or lunchtime? Uh, okay, that, that makes sense. And a lot of people actually go to the gym early in the morning and then go to work uh, from there. They do, yeah. A lot of the in-home that I do, it's um, the morning is popular, especially oh, really? with the with the mom because they get it out the way again because sometimes you plan okay I'll, I'll i'll work out at night but then things happen then you the know day. things okay. happen yeah gotcha very good very good i understand so now let me ask you this uh, what is your biggest challenge in life my biggest challenge well i think just um <laughs> you know just pushing through it like most people you know mm -hmm. sometimes you you come across obstacles you have a goal in mind um, mm -hmm. and then you, there's so many obstacles that may come your way mm -hmm. um, oftentimes things don't go as planned mm -hmm. but um, luckily I think I've been surrounded by people that have been very supportive um, even yourself you know when I when I met you you invited me to your networking events um, mm -hmm. you know as I pursue my goal to um, to to grow as a business and to touch more people you know I've, I've ha been lucky enough to meet people such as yourself that have been very supportive and um, they, yeah in times when I've had obstacles <laughs> yeah Okay, very good, thank you. And what is your biggest success? I think my biggest success has definitely been um, sort of my, I, I've learned a lot from my parents. You know, they um, helped me, I guess, become the person that I am. They helped me with school mm -hmm. um, in terms of, you know, just encouraging me and letting me know that education was key. Um, 
and once I completed that, um, then I moved to the U.S. You know, from from Africa, and I, I followed my dreams because mm -hmm. of my parents' encouragement, mm -hmm. and and now I feel when I look back, I always. Um, I, I, it's funny because now I, I realize that they gave me that independence to sort of grow and be my own person okay. and um, I, I'm grateful for that and I think um, my biggest success has always been sort of kind of following my dreams even if I've um, come across obstacles okay. you know so um, I think I was I listened to my parents so that's a good <laughs> success and I, I, I'm just Everything that I've accomplished up until now, I mean, um, you know, traveling across the world, I always dreamt that I would be living here, mm -hmm. even when I was young. And so just uh, having moved here has been kind of one of my big success in following my dreams, to answer my, your question. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Now, you mentioned the breakfast. Can you tell the audience your experience at the breakfast? It was very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I had never met so many people <laughs> <laughs> in such a short period of time. Um, I mean, it was literally people sat down and you rang that bell or whatever it was. <laughs> and it was, um, I think it was 30 seconds. I, it did was, be, was it 30 seconds? It certainly didn't feel like it. was it. a minute. Was it a minute? Yeah. Both ways? Yeah. It's, it felt like you uh, well, you know, when people start talking, you lose track of time. <laughs> and, and they got them, it's over. They're like, what? I just started. Well, yeah, so. literally. Um, and then it's time for the person to move on. So it was a very interesting, um, it's, I, the, I, the concept is very interesting because then it gives you the opportunity to sort of meet more people mm -hmm. at, a, at such a short time. Um, I think you call it um, networking speed. speed networking. I don't have a name for it, but everybody <laughs> does, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what I liked about it was that um, afterwards, I think you were kind enough to um, to give us everyone's contact information, and and so that was nice because I obviously didn't get to meet everyone, but it, it's nice to still have that information. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and also, you came to the expo. Yes. How do you like the expo? It was great. Um, it was probably the second expo I've done mm -hmm. as a, a, you know, under myself. Mm -hmm. um, again, it was just, you know, interacting with a lot of um, business professionals, mm -hmm. um, which was really great too. And uh, just showcasing t to my business. And I think it, it gave me confidence that day that, you know, um, I really c c can, this is definitely what I want to do. And mm -hmm. um, I mean, when you said give good the, 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 give you the confidence this is what you want to do mean your business um yeah you know with each um i think when you're actually standing alone as a particularly because i'm uh, i'm starting out you know pretty pretty much and so when you're standing there representing your business mm -hmm. um it's a, it's nice to be at an expo of that magnitude mm -hmm. if you will and, and just uh, realize that you know okay I, i'm a part of you know uh, and cox was right next to me you know the mm -hmm. cox community Communications and other major companies, and I thought, wow, okay, I, I am. You, you made know, it. I, <laughs> <laughs> I am, yeah. So it de definitely gave me. And as I spoke to other business owners, and just um, you kind of realize that everyone has traveled the same path, you know. And again, when you just spoke about those obstacles, everyone has been through the same thing. So, um, and just getting encouragement and advice, and of course, networking. So, yeah. and I've actually since. Um, seen people from from that expo that I met and um, I have taken on a few clients from that expo. Oh, really? So thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> See, nobody ever tell me. <laughs> uh, but I hear when something goes wrong. <laughs> no, I definitely, it was definitely worthwhile. Okay. Yeah, it was worthwhile. Oh, very good. Yeah. Oh, that's glad, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> now, where, what are your future plans? I think my future plans, I think at the beginning of this year, because um, I was doing this part time mm -hmm. in general, and I, at the beginning of this year, I think I realized that, um, you know, when you just feel as though your footprints are no longer making a mark, it's mm -hmm. like you're kind of walking, but you're not leaving. Um, 
footprints when you look behind, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So I really want to make, um, I want to use what I, my passion and what I love to do to make a, a better impact, um, you know, and to leave a, a positive mark, um, you know, if you will. Um, so I want to make a social impact, help people with their health and wellness, mm -hmm. um, you know, whether it's helping you to eat right, helping you to feel good, helping you to incorporate healthy habits for your kids, mm -hmm. making it easier for you to to move and be active, mm -hmm. you know, because that plays n not just a, from a vanity point of view, but, you know, from a health point of view. And um, I just feel that for the next 10 years, I want to look back and say, you know, I did, I, I helped people and I, um, I was part of a, I was part of a movement that, mm -hmm. you know, helped the community to, to become healthy and proud and fit, active and toned. <laughs> so. <laughs> trademark, right? Have you trademarked that, fit, active and toned? I have, yes. Um, you have trademarked By it? encouragement from my sisters, actually. Oh, you because, did, huh? um, Yeah, at first um, I, I didn't think much of it because um, it was something that, you know, I was sort of playing around with. Um, and there's a term, you know, it's FAT, fat has a new meaning. Um, fit active toned oh, and so they said you know you should uh, trademark that and I thought well I don't know I you know and then everyone kept saying that and someone said to me if you don't trademark it I'm taking it so yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> so that's when I was like okay and and this person was you know is a pretty um, influential person so I thought okay I'm trading <laughs> trademarking it so I went ahead and did it <laughs> that's good you can see the logo there on the screen mm -hmm. on the of our logo uh, that's interesting. It's definitely catchy, no doubt about it. <laughs> you invented that was your idea? It was. We were. Um, we were actually chatting, and so I, I needed a, a slogan uh -huh. um, because I was asked to do, uh, you know, an event, and I thought. Okay, um, and I've never been fond of the word fat itself. Mm -hmm. And then I said to them, how, you know, and we were typing out, I said, you know, um, how about fit? And then one of them said, and, and then I said, um, active. And then my younger sister said, tone. So then it was first F-A-A-T. And then I think, um, if there were probably three cameras, um, you know, one with me and one with two of my sisters, I think we probably all typed out at the same time. Oh, really? <laughs> because I was just like, oh, I dropped the one A and then it was F-A-T. And then um, my older sister, I think, said, um, you could say something like has a new meaning or something like that. And then it just sort of, I just sort of ran with it. <laughs> so, <Okay>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good. That's very good. Excellent. So now, when you mentioned, I just have a question. You mentioned you say you want to be part of the movement. You meant growing your business. That's what you mean, or was there something else, other actions? Because talking about the social, but it was not quite clear. Well, I think um, growing my business is certainly one of um, one of my. Um, goals and my focus. But, but in you, 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 you mentioned that you say you want to do part of movement. I'm just trying to clarify. When you say movement, you mean growing your business so you can have that impact, or do you have anything else you have in mind when it comes to that? I would love to, uh, as I grow my business, mm -hmm. I would love to also be more, uh, more, I have more of a social impact, I mm -hmm. think, in terms of, um, I mean, if I could work with everybody, I certainly would. I would love to help bring more activity to kids because um, I did a, a small workout, you know, with kids um, at an apartment complex near me, and they were just so happy to just be active, you know. And I mean, they, they were just so alive, and they kept saying, "When are you coming back? When are you coming back?" And so that's one thing, you know. Um, I'm actually in talks next week with um, a homeless shelter, which, and I'm going to. Um, do an actual charity fundraising um, workout so that um, so the workout is completely free but everyone that comes is if you want to donate anything you know for that um, when you come to the workout or the but who donate the people who are homeless or uh, no the people um, anyone who comes for that workout okay. can donate however much and then all that money goes to the homeless shelter so I kind of want to focus on things like that where I can use sort of what I love and 
awareness, to kind of bring awareness to, you know, social issues that are kind of um, impact. Because I, you know, I can volunteer at, at organizations. I can do that, but I also want to use. Why not use what I love mm -hmm. to do mm -hmm. to, you know, to make more of an impact too. So that's what I meant. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. So it's it's uh, it will. It's, I mean, growing your business is nice, but um, I also want to uh, to help as well. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. So uh, so right now you're doing this part time, and your goal is to go full time. Am I correct? Uh, yeah, eventually, you know, if um, if um, the situation permits, and um, if I get busier, and mm -hmm. you know, because uh, unfortunately I can't do it all, so it'll be, um, yeah, I, the goal is pr probably in the future to take it full time. Okay, let me ask you this talking about this, this show being about organization, admin know how, have you, how about setting a time, a target for you to make that happen? To make myself go full time? Yes, being that it is your passion as a management technology because management you have target it doesn't mean that they have necessarily to be met but uh, it could be better to have at least a set time that's true and then work toward that to go full time that's true do you have a time you'd recommend a time recommend speaking from experience i guess y yesterday yesterday <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't do it yesterday. <laughs> it's a, a, no, that's a very good Reverse question, by the way. Yeah. It depends because, you know, you, you, in business, you have different type of people mm -hmm. in terms of how many risks they can take. You have some who know, will drop everything and then go. It, I wouldn't recommend that it has to do, you know, the more, it, it's very, very personal. But you can plan it. Look, take a look at your numbers, the bills, and, da, 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 and work, work it out, or savings or whatever. So yeah. that's, that's the rule. That's what I would recommend. Uh, maybe start saving money so that when you go in, you have this kind of money, that amount of money set aside or whatever, or maybe somebody can get you a loan or whatever the case may be. There are different instruments out there. That but, is true. But my suggestion would be to set a time because if not, then it, if, it will just be okay. Five years, ten years, it is You're okay. Right, it yeah. won't be, there will not nothing to assess against. That's true. That is very true. It's, uh, which um, option did you take? You said that there were two types of people. Did you immediately drop and go? <laughs> I know myself. <laughs> uh, but we, I'll tell you, I, I'm like, good God, now there have been some positions where I just drop them and then I move okay. forward. Was it easy? Was not. But I, I can live that way. Yeah. And probably maybe I like it that way. Yeah. Extreme challenge and uh, uh, that's what I'm saying. It, but it is it is different from individual to individual. Right. That is very true, um, and it's good to have you know timelines that you can you can work towards too, and it'll help me be uh, it'll hold me accountable. So that's that's fundamental. It's just yeah. management, standard management. Yeah. You can imagine Microsoft not having a target. Yeah. You can imagine uh, a target not knowing how much money we're planning to make it this week, it, or yeah. we don't even know where we are at. That's like it's unthinkable. That's true. That's true. You see, yeah. but that's the higher level. But the same laws or the same natural laws of organization apply to a small business or mom and pop. That's very true. And say nothing of that when you have a goal, the goal pull energy toward it. But if you don't have a goal, nothing, no energy is going anywhere. Yeah. And you're not necessarily pulling the resources or the support or what else to achieve that goal. Yeah, yeah. I completely agree. So you have one week. One week? <laughs> <laughs> one week. Should have said one day. <laughs> <laughs> one hour. <laughs> <laughs> Not work that I try to say that, I mean, if you have a CPA or a lawyer or whatever, yeah. you know, bounce the, the idea against them and work it out. But uh, I, I say it is a must. Because otherwise, one year can turn into 10, 15 years, no big yeah, deal. Yeah, that's true. Easily. Because that's true. only because that specific technology of management was not applied. Okay. We, won't s we don't send bill for the suggestion we give on something. <laughs> I better not receive one. <laughs> I think it's on camera, right? <laughs> about to close, what good words would you have for the audience here, Rivi? 
Well, um, first of all, thank you for having me. And, um, you know, I encourage people to, especially in the summertime, it's, mm -hmm. um, it, it is hot, but I encourage people to, you know, to just um, start small, you know, if you haven't been active or if you, you have a very busy lifestyle, mm -hmm. um, you know, I just encourage people to move, you mm -hmm. know, whether you're at the office, stand up a few times a day, take the stairs, um, you know, if um, if you need some some tips or anything, I'll be more than happy to do some lunch and learns or anything like that, just to showcase how people can stay active at work. Okay. Yeah. Very good. And folks, you can see her uh, website there on the screen. Uh, all her information. Feel free to contact her so she can uh, further help you with that. And I just want to remind you, a monthly breakfast event. You can find information on that on our website, which is blnbc.com. We meet at the Best Western of Fairfax, 3535 Chenbridge Road, here uh, zip code 22030. Also, our next expo will be on November 6. It's wide open. You can become an exhibitor and the sponsor to say nothing else, uh, to say nothing of uh, attending. Uh, and that was November 6 from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, Ruvi talked to you about it. Uh, you won't regret it. You, you love it. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <laughs> You have the guests, you have networking, you have food, you have beverage, uh, it's all come in one package. And also we have valuable uh, seminars, some of them offered by top national speakers where you get to really get valuable information you can use to further grow your business or for that matter, improve your life. Also as a last reminder, we are on Cox Channel 10 three times a week, Tuesday at 9 p.m., on Wednesday right after midnight and on Saturday at 2 p.m. You should also know that all these shows, we have well over 120 of them, are listed on our website, which is blnbc.com. You have great guests like Ruvi and others. <laughs> we'll give you again valuable information you can uh, use to improve your business or life. We thank you very much for tuning. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Uh, Ruvi, I thank you again for coming on our show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. <laughs> So looking forward to seeing you again, folks. In the meantime, you have a good night, a happy productive day, and a great weekend. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. This program was brought to you by Organo Gold. Organo Gold is a health and wellness company that provides healthy coffees, teas, and chocolate. All one has to do is consume the available products to get all the available benefits. One can also share these products with others to help them improve their health as well. For more information, call 703-359-5642 or visit the website basillamba.com. <laughs>